and moving ahead tonight, the trial of the immediate past chief of the defense staff, Air Chief Marshal Alex Bade, the National Publicity Secretary of the PDP, Mr. Ulisa Metu, have been stalled. Uh, this follows the absence of the trial judge, Justice Obong Abeng, who is said to be at the Lagos Division of the Court, from where he was transferred to Abuja. No reason, however, was given with regards to his trip to Lagos. A prosecution witness who had testified at the last sitting was expected to be cross-examined by counsel to the former defense chief. The National Policy Secretary of the PDP, Mr. Metu, was expected to open his defense in the suit filed against him. Both are standing trial for money laundering. Trial in the two cases have been adjourned to the 24th of March. 2016. The executive governor of Edo State, Comrade Adam Sushomale, has stated that quality education can only be achieved when Nigerians realize its value by paying their school fees. Addressing newsmen in Abuja on Wednesday during a CAFSA visit to the National Universities Commission over the state of the Edo State University, Comrade Oshomale advocates for a stop to a generalized education subsidy to be rechanneled to people who actually need it. The common governor further explained that proper equipping of public secondary schools would enhance sound university education while expressing the success recorded in the education sector under its leadership in the state. He noted that his predecessor did not take advantage of the fund allocated to the state in rehabilitating the dilapidated classrooms and infrastructure for seven years while in power. Lies in the quality of our human capital. You know, for too long, Nigerians and governments, African government, military, and what is 1999 civilians, we are quick at pointing out that we are Nigerians of Africa, at least by reference to the fact that we are. Currently, about 170 or 180 million people. And so the emphasis is on the, on the quantity. African largest market know that. But what is never really discussed seriously is the quality of our human capital. Earlier, the Executive Secretary of NUC, Professor Julius Okoje, advocates for more attention to be given to the basic education which he described as the foundation of quality university education, adding that university brings development to a place. As far as the specialists and the dual do state government, to take full advantage of the professional and technical advice that we are sufficiently required to give to the new university and the new state on the establishment and operation of this university. By a copy of this data, a joint Admissions and Affiliation Board, National Education Trust Fund, and the National Excellence Club have been informed of the establishment <laughs> on the establishment of the Edo University PM. Please accept the renewed assurances of my highest. Lagos State and Kebi State Governments on Wednesday signed a Memorandum of Understanding on the establishment of commodity value chain that will improve the food processing production and distribution. The brief signing ceremony took place at the State House in Alausa, Keja, Lagos. The respondent, Fauzia Barinyoka Bakari, now reports. That was Governor Kewumi Ambodi of Lagos State and Alaji Aseku Baguju of Kebi State signing the Memorandum of Understanding to signal the end of era of overdependence on oil as a major earner of the country. The collaboration is in line with the current call and policy of President Muhammadu Buhari towards diversification of the economy. The partnership is also aimed at bringing about national food sufficiency, security, as well as creating employment at both the state and the country at large. Governor Ambode said the partnership signaled the end of era of imported rice in the country. The era of imported rice is gone forever. Lagos State and Kebbi State have decided to collaborate and exploit our areas of comparative advantage to create value for both states. This alliance will ensure food security, job creation, increase in farmers' income, 
and the overall improvement in the living conditions of the residents of both states. The joint venture between the two states will be implemented with a special vehicle known as LASCAP. The numerous thousands of our market women and men can become key employers of labor as distributors of EVLA rights. We can also brand and package rights in the names of our distributors and market women. As a state, we shall adopt our local rights as a state dish in all ramifications. The special purpose vehicle will allow the entrance of private sector investors and other states in expanding the rice mill and the motor ecology and other locations. Similarly, the governor of Kebi, Alaji Aseku Bagudu, on his part said the goal is to produce 60 to 70 percent of the Nigerian rice need and replicate the same in other food items. We believe that our two states can significantly contribute to national food sufficiency and food security for our country. We believe that the peoples of our peer states can benefit immensely from this cooperation. We can add value jointly, we can create employment, we can create incomes. The major area of focus will be development of commodity value chain with emphasis on rice, wheat, granite, onion, maize and beef. The event was well attended by top government functionaries, traditional rulers and members of the organized private sector from both states. One hope the collaboration between both states will be maximized in the long run. Fauzia Badia Kabakari, MITV News.